quick review for this book, or a course, by the great courses, The Learning Brain. Overall, good book, or a course, I'm sure this is a book. There's some good information there about how, like, the brain functions, how we learn, some tri tricks of how to learn better, but nothing, like, out of the ordinary. Okay, professor, but again, nothing crazy. I would say maybe three to four. Where I, I think I'm going to more like a three because... It's like you focus a lot about like how to learn and it kind of like repeats itself a little bit. Some of the information there is kind of out there. I know it's not a little, <laughs> totally fair, but I didn't get that much out of it. I know it depends when you listen to a course before or after you know much, but overall, he was a good professor, nothing like outstanding. So yeah, I'll tell you a three, a high three for sure. But yeah, let's see the notes. Without learning, life, uh, living life would be extremely hard to impossible. We constantly learn things without n us knowing. We always learn things. Without it, it would be very hard to live. We remember the jits of sentences rather than verbatim. We don't remember the verbatim. Some typo there, I know. To improve eyewitness testimony it's good to ask what happened last and reconstruct from there that would avoid them needing to be consistent what happens with eyewitness testimonies that you often it's kind of called leading the witness so if you ask it's better to what to do is to ask what happened last and then reconstruct from them otherwise what happens if you ask tell me how it started and then they try to be consistent by making things up. Highlighting is not a good learning technique since we can't, I think can't lose the forest. We can lose the forest for the tree, sorry. So what happens if we highlight, we just highlight too much. It's not an effective learning technique. Rereading is ineffective as we mistaken familiarity with recall. It's an important idea here. Mistaken familiarity, familiarity with recall. We saw that. It was like, oh, we know that, but we can't. You, we can't recall this if needed. If asked about it, we won't be able to recall. So that's why rereading is not as effective. Spacing is one of the best techniques. Just space it out. Learn by spacing and randomizing. So he says, like he says here. Space challenge and randomize all enhance learning. So we ask yourself questions, randomize the questions, space it out. That's the best way to learn. So overall, there's some good way, good ideas of how to learn things, but not as effective as or as interesting. It touches some interesting points, but pretty good. Nothing, nothing bad, but it's probably a three out of five. Thank you.